What's up? So I got a chance uh, last weekend while I was out in California doing some work stuff to get in and drop in with Mark Bell at Super Training. Got some squats. And uh, the other thing we talked about is using knee wraps. Um, I'm not a competitive power lifter anymore and uh, I really like using knee wraps in my training. I like using it the same way I use the slingshot. And so uh, me and Mark shot a video on A, how to wrap your knees and a little bit better explanation of how to use them. So uh, check that out. Click subscribe and uh, enjoy. Got a chance to come out today to super training. We're marking up. One of the things you know I've been utilizing in training is knee wraps, and I get a lot of questions about how to do that correctly, how you use it, and so I'm using it at the end of my workout to get some extra reps in with the same weight and put a little bit uh, more strain on the muscles, get stronger. So kind of use it a little bit like a slingshot, allowing him to handle a little bit more weight. You can do more reps, more sets more weight, you're going to be able to handle more overall volume. Uh, the way that I suggest you utilize knee wraps, especially for someone uh, who's not going to compete, somebody who's not going to uh, step on the platform, is to kind of use it the way Matt's talking about. And I usually suggest that people just wrap themselves, and that way you get to learn uh, how tight you want the wrap. You can wrap yourself a little tighter with each, uh, with each, each and every set that you do. Uh, when you're making your jumps, like if you started at say like 500 pounds, you would wrap yourself medium. As you, as you go up in weight, you'd wrap yourself a little tighter each set until you kind of can't uh, handle it anymore. Yeah. But you also, uh, you don't want to get into a habit of wrapping yourself too tight all the time. Uh, we've seen it time and time again in here uh, where it's been problematic for guys with their knees. So be a little cautious and be a little bit on the gentle side of your knee wraps. If you're preparing for a competition, that's a totally different story. You're going to have to wrap your knees. You're going to have to kind of grin and bear it for at least a couple of weeks leading into that competition because you're going to have to really overload and push it. So I'm just going to do kind of a basic wrap on him first, and then we'll do a little bit more of a powerlifting style wrap uh, second. Awesome. So he's just going to go there. I'm just going to use his pads and I'll kill my own knee when I sit down. This is the uh, foam, di foam of death here. But basically we just want to start at the bottom here, and we're gonna work our way up, and hopefully we can kind of cast it off uh, at the end there. So we're just gonna kind of go here. Some people like to go uh, inward or outward. It's really kind of more of a preference thing. We have to just kind of start light and then go from there. In this case, we're wrapping in. And I like to pull the material from the back. If you, if you try to uh, pull it across too much, and the person's, uh, not wearing stretchy pants like he's wearing. Uh, it's gonna irritate the back of the knee, so you wanna to try to pull the material away. Knee wraps are going to be uncomfortable. There's really no, uh, there's no way of them not being uncomfortable, but you wanna to try to make them so they're not too uncomfortable. As we're going up the knee, we're splitting the knee wrap, as you can see, almost in half with each revolution that we're doing here. So we're gonna work our way up, we're gonna catch a little bit of quad, Matt's a little quaddy, so it's going to be hard to get around too much of his quads because he's pretty jacked. That's true. But we want to try to start to catch the patella tendon again, which is this guy in here uh, at the end, because that's going to need the most uh, protection. And so we'll be able to close it off through here with my fat little fingers. You're going to want to pull away, and that's going to be quite uncomfortable as I start to push this through here. And now we got a good sturdy wrap there. He's got enough uh, pressure to, to the point where it's very hard for him to straighten his leg out. Yeah, so the leg's pretty stiff. You know, it's, a, it's, it's a good amount of support. But it's going to be more support than, say, a neoprene wrap or anything like that that you're going to wear sleeve-wise. And so give you an idea of what I've got here. Like about there is about as much as I'm going to get. And again, this is a pretty light wrap. This would be something that I could possibly do to myself for training. And really it's just going to help me get some rebound, get out of the hole, help you get a couple extra reps and really put the work onto your legs. And that's what you're trying to do is get stronger. So it, it, it's a tool to use. I mean, people are going to say, oh, it's not a real lift because you use knee wraps. Fuck. Do what's doing best for you so you get stronger. Use some different tools. Try what works for you. Stay safe. I mean, better hit a couple reps at something you already did, put some reps on, hit 10 reps instead of three or five, and that's what helps you get stronger. Right. Really the only difference, you know, with a powerlifting style wrap 
Uh, number one would be we'd probably move into a stiffer wrap, which we also make a uh, red wrap called a little bridge wrap. This is our slingshot uh, knee wrap. It's a little bit stretchier, going to give you a little bit more rebound. But the main difference is just going to be how you, how you roll this up. You're going to want to get all the tension out of this when you roll it up. And so this will take me a second here, but you want to pull this tight because every time we wrap around his leg, uh, we need it to lay down flat each and every time. So we're using all the material. So basically all we're doing is we're just going to be able to wrap around his knee a lot more. Get, get more, more layers, this material is going to be thinner, stretch out, get some more rebound out of the bottom. More revolutions, more strongest. And you can use your knee wrap in training just as knee support in general, just for, you know, warm up sets or anything like that. Wrap them really light and just have enough for, for support. I know I've got some tendonitis issues and I'll even wrap really light over uh, the, you know, the compression, uh, cuff. compression cuff just for some extra support. You know, there, there's no pride in getting hurt in training if you're a competitive athlete. So do what's smart and do what keeps you getting the work in so that you can be better on the field when it's time to go. This is good for the forearm pump. That's always actually what we're trying to do. Yeah. That was Everything's going to build in the biceps. I'm just trying to get the veins going. <laughs> big so, packs, big checks. It's just another trick that's going to help you uh, do what it needs to do. So try using some knee wraps, add those to your training. Get some extra support. Stay safe. Keep kicking ass. You can see that's a lot tighter. That's about. So this is pretty there. loose. That one's pretty tight. Boom. That'd be the one you want. Always go tighter. 